Hello and welcome back, Legionaries. Mars Hill Magnus here, bringing you another casted game between Lucifron and Puppy Paw. This is game number three. Uh, this map called Holy Something or other. Um, it was in the loading screen, but it was called. Uh... Anyway, I've, I'll put it. I'll put it in the description. I really do apologise, but it's another uh, map that's been designed for um, the EGC tournaments. In this case, Golden Link Two. This is uh, game number three out of three so far i think it's best of five and um we have puppy paw playing as the abbasid dynasty and lucifron playing as the Rus. both players opting to build their docks and really start working on the uh well the deep the deep water fish which um fastest gathering rate of food in the game um and a thousand a thousand food a shoal of fish as we can see here, currently there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. But what the eighth one over here is miles away. So eight for Puppy Paw uh -huh. um, and for Lucifron, it's an equal amount. Actually, no, he's got one less. You know what? I can't even count. It's seven apiece. Seven apiece. So the map itself is quite interesting. We have two docks in both the in both corners of where the the water is based. Um, and also one land market that both players could seek to use, but not highly optimal unless they look to place their markets in these parts here and then start trading across the map like so. But let's see what what, what these two players decide, uh, what kind of strategies they look to implement. Um, Abyssin Dynasty, very strong now as a result of the recent uh, Season 4 patch updates. Um, and then also for the Roos, they have some interesting changes to their landmarks, particularly the one which gives them militia, um, or rather tickets of militias. So you can, once you've accrued a few tickets or tokens, you can then just pump them all out. But they do have a limited time span. Lots of sheep here for Puppy Paw. Uh, mind you saying that there was a lot of sheep here for, um, for Lucifron as well. But Puppy Paw going ahead and pick out nine there plus another five so that's 14 50 oh excuse me 15 sheep and at the same time they are, they're looking to get um plenty of fishing ships out I'm trying to remember if um wow forgot the roos the roos <laughs> fishing ships are whopping 150 wood but they don't have to come back to drop it off um and they just continue fishing it they don't even have to move and they can collect it extremely quickly as you can see I think it's the fastest gathering fishing ship in the game. Um, and that's also boosted by the fact they do not have to return the food. It just deposits it into your, your food bank account. Fishing also fishing ships over here for, for Puppy Paw. But equally still have that travel time. The Kremlin is going up for Lucifron now. This is where you're able to produce your uh, militia based on the accruing tokens over time. Whereas over for Puppy Paw, no House of Wisdom. I believe it's called the House of Wisdom. Uh, for the Abbasid. Uh, but that's a very quick age up for Lucifron. Very, very quick age up. We're only 3 minutes 30 into the game. And this might be up by about 4, 4.20. Maybe earlier. I think this might be a 4 minute age up. Uh, so let's see what kind of aggressive plays come out of this for Lucifron. Meanwhile, for Puppy Paw, majority of his of his economy is just going for the wood, just so as he can pump out more uh, more docks. I believe for for the Abbasids, I think it's fairly cheap. Yeah, seventy five wood on the docks. Lucifron coming in with an aggressive fishing boat. Is he looking just to see if he can gather this? Oh no! <laughs> Lucifron here just um, stealing some some of the fish here. Um, and it's just upgraded. It is now a Nodia Galley. And it's looking to take out. This is some aggressive plays right here from Lucifron. Upgrading his ship to... Oh, and another ship. Is it going to go down? No, it manages to get Garrison. But one fishing ship already down for Puppy Paw. Do we see any more aggressive fishing ships coming out from Lucifron? No. It looks like... Is he, is he going for his... Where's all his villagers? Is that all of them? 16? Where are the rest of his fishing, of his villagers? Am I blind? 22. Not that many villagers for, for Lucifron, but 
he does have his first set of um, militia coming out here from the from the Kremlin. Uh, they do have oh, 75 oh, seconds oh. left on their life. Meanwhile, aggressive plays here by Lucifron on Puppy Paws um, fishing line. This Lodger Galley putting in some work, and at the same time, we have some really fast militia moving in. But where are they heading? The only places that can make me think, is he going to start going for the stone? Is he going to deny the stone here? Only 50 seconds left on these guys. We have a fight between two scouts. Puppy Paw here opting for the culture wing. Food is just being denied completely from the fishing but by, by the lodger galleys here doing a lot of damage this one i think might just be about to upgrade i think when they're slow yeah you can see here it's got a few more seconds left halfway done 10 more seconds left on that upgrade very aggressive plays militia being surrounded they managed to take one villager down um but these 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 these, these militia are so cost effective um, it just cost 40 40 it's just 40 food and then these number of supplies available so if you have like seven of these i think it brings out is it one per token or is it two no it's two so for each token it's two um two militia meanwhile lucifron still applying the pain there is an, a blockade here this is there is no fishing fishing happening today that is for sure absolutely no fishing at all More militia out on, on the front base here, looking to deny this the, 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 the stone income of Puppy Paw so he can get his additional uh -huh. additional um, uh, town centers out. If he if he is looking, he might be looking to get the Fertile Crescent. Once he has the Fertile Crescent, it's going to reduce the cost of economic buildings, including town centers, by 25%. But he isn't. He's going for preservation of knowledge. So reduce the cost of all technology. So once he has this, is this going to reduce all of these by 20%? I think so. So learning more things. Blockade still underway here for Lucifron. He is he is not letting Puppy Paw get anything out. But he is looking to get some naval arrow, arrow slits on his docks just to defend these a bit better. Meanwhile, over on his side, he's just happily fishing. No problems over here on the Roost Waters. You would have thought by now, maybe Puppy Paw would have transitioned to more workers onto onto sheep. He only has four, so that, that's allowing him to at least pump his, his villagers out with no no contest. Another four uh, militia coming in here just to raid the wood line of Puppy Paw. It, it looks incredibly aggressive, this this build, and a knight is on the underway. So you go and deny the fishing uh, capabilities of of the enemy Abbasid player here. Meanwhile, also being an aggressor on land with these very cheap, like, throwaway units, which are your militia, which are... Well, they just died there. They ran out of time. It was time out. They were like, right, okay, we've done our 90 seconds, boys. We're back home. We're just going to collapse here. Uh, more more uh, lodger attack ships are being deployed here, but it looks as if Puppy Paw has gone for the shoreline fish just to keep the food income coming here, but also being protected by the arrow slits on the docks he has. The knight is coming in and denying. Oh, looking to try to do as much damage here just by, by garrisoning his villagers, just to get a few volleys off, reducing the early knight to almost half HP. Spearman coming out for Puppy Paw. Archers now being created by Lucifron, going for that counter. And we have the knight here going on a one-on-one -on -one with this spearman. Spearman goes down, but a fresh one straight out the door of the barracks. Nicely placed next to the stone, just to con constantly reinforce and, uh, and defend this point. If we have a look in terms of stone, we have almost got enough. Yep, as soon as he hit 400 stone... He's fine. Okay, we need to start getting more wood in so we can get our second town center up and running. More militia coming in straight for the wood line once again. Lucifron trying to decide, do I keep pushing through? He, I think if he, did, if he didn't misclick this, both of them would have made it through. Back on the water here. Lucifron trying to find some prey. 
but unfortunately, Puppy Paw is staying close to the coast. He is not venturing out into the deep seas as he knows the roosts are ready to prey upon his fishing lines or fishing ships. Lucifon spreading out, asserting dominance over here. Second town center going up for Puppy Paw. Now, it's going to be curious as to what happens here. We have Lucifron now pushing, now developing, um, or rather producing a batting ram, which is going to really push him from this, this, this eastern side of Puppy Paw's base. But there is only a limited window in which he can do this, because if the economy is really built up off the back of these two sound town centers, I think he should already have... Um, no, he hasn't gone for fresh foodstuffs. Really should look to do that, especially with the two the two town centers. And we see here, why are they all being rallied on here? I don't know what's going on. Just placing them down and going straight for... Okay, so he's just going for food. So he must be going for horsemen, potentially? Yeah, it's, it's to counter all the archers. Battering ram looking to take out the docks now. Lucifon's just cutting any way that Puppy Paw can go and defend his, his docks. Um, since the arrow slits only shoot into the water, not onto land. But even against a battering ram, that's not going to help. Puppy Paw moving his wood line as it's it's far too open on this side. Um, and easy for 4-4 uh, for, for Lucifron to raid. We now see an engagement here. A full force of six militia coming in from the side. Archers picking off anything that they can set their eyes on. And the, the, the spearmen not having much luck here. Not able. Oh, and we have an engagement. Archers are focusing these spearmen in the center here. Horsemen have moved to the back. I would have rallied them round and gone for the archers again. Puppy Pop drawing the enemy into the back of his base. Don't know whether you can get the town center to focus fire, but horsemen are now surrounding the archers. Spearmen have taken out the, the, the horsemen. It looks like Puppy Paw may come out on top here, but Lucifron still has a, a, a large lead on, on military units. More horsemen coming out here, hunting down any stragglers where they can find them. But it looks like Puppy Paw has managed to thwart this engagement from Lucifron. Lucifron looking to reconvene, reconsolidate his forces before he tries to attempt again. But Puppy Paw, Paw has him on the back foot. But he has far too many horsemen. Bearing in mind, Lucifron does have two plus one ranged and plus one armor, melee ranged armor as well. So they're going to do a lot more damage. And once he gets critical mass, he'll be able to one shot each of these horsemen. More knights coming out, being produced two at a time. Fishing, however, is fully negated. We have a Bagler Spring Old Ship going out looking to take out these Lodger Galleys. But Lucifer is, is effectively negating all food income from water for Puppy Paw. Archers coming in here just to defend the siege ram and potentially take out some of these ships. Back on the front of Puppy Paw's base. More spearmen, more horsemen against archers and knights of which we know the knights are generally stronger and with the massive of archers that that lucifron now has he's just going to be able to pick off these units fairly easily focusing uh, the archers in the first instance back in his base a cheeky uh, lone early knight here uh, probably miss miss rallied into the center of the base there castle age going up for lucifron he does have himself a high trade house, which is earning a ton of gold per minute. Um, just, just by the massive... Oh, there's also a raid. I completely missed this. That's my bad. Uh, raid coming in here from Puppy Paw, looking to take out some villagers. Um, balancing out the villager, villager kills between them almost 8 to 11. Army value destroyed. Oh, gosh. Lucifron is vastly ahead. Mind you, he... Actually, no... Puppy Paw's doing quite good on the, the destroyed value of enemy units. Almost 2,000. 2,000 ahead of, of, of Lucifron. Lucifron's still skirting around Puppy Paw's base, but Puppy Paw is bolstering his production now with three archery rangers, two stables in the barracks. But bearing in mind he's still in feudal age, is he looking to save up for Castle? Highly unlikely. The pressure is on. 
on Puppy Paw. Don't think he's able to save up um, in time for the upgrades. He's going to start pouring in for, for Lucifron. Maybe is he going to start opting to get... No, they are knights. They're not early knights anymore. They are up upgraded knights. Another bashing round. We do have veteran archers as well. Outpost going down here to... Oh, bashing round. It's now come in from the shoreline. All docks are down. No more food for... Oh, dear. These guys are gone. No fishing for you, good sir. This lodger guy is going to be a lodger galley. But back to the front. Bashing round coming in on to... At the outpost, Horseman desperately tries to take out this this, uh, this battering ram. Archers are focused firing down all of the, the spearmen. Knights are holding the front here against the Horseman. And it, yeah, Lucifron is making quick work of Puppy Paw's army. It's, yeah, it's a no-brainer. Puppy Paw there, uh, his food was shut down on shoreline, uh, which, is, which is really unfortunate. Um, but Lucifron played that really well. Aggression from the mainland using the militia on his uh, on the Kremlin, and then the Lodgia attack ships in the water. It, it, how can you deal with that? That was. It seems like the Rus are quite strong on that map. But again, that was game number three. Going to be rolling into game number four. Hope you guys enjoyed the cast. Please get, leave any comments in the comment section. Of what needs to be improved on? What you want me to focus on during the the gameplay? Um, and anything that I need to highlight a bit more. Um, but at the same time, I am improving my, my game knowledge by watching these pro games. Um, but yes, be sure to like and subscribe if you more, want more content like this in the future. This is Mars Hill Magnus signing out for now. Ciao.